Welcome, I'm Andy, and today we're gonna to discuss a free ballistics program that's available online that you can enter data into and get a firing solution that you can then take and enter onto the rear drum of your uh, AR-15 rifle that has uh, iron sights, or you can enter that same information onto your AR-15 that has a tactical scope or a precision rifle that also has a tactical scope. Uh, now, being able to do this with the ballistics program will allow you to engage targets at any distance out to approximately 800 yards for your AR-15 with iron sights or any distance that your uh, rifle will allow you to engage targets to the limit of your uh, tactical scope. So stick around and we'll get started. All right, our free online program that I'm gonna recommend is JBM Ballistics. So if you do a Google search, it'll come up and just click up here on JBM Ballistics and it'll bring you to this uh, home page. We are going to use the trajectory um, program, not the trajectory and drift or the trajectory simplified. Simplified is just not enough information. The drift adds stuff like spin drift, which we're really not going to be concerned with right now. Um, this is more of a basic program for people just learning, and I'm assuming you're going to be shooting less than 600 yards. So if you're shooting out below, longer than 600 yards, the trajectory and drift will need to be taken. You'll need to start working on that program uh, when you talk about your uh, windage settings and uh, calculating for your wind, because that will take in your spin drift into account, which is the rifling in your bullet that tends to curve the bullet and uh, you get some uh, horizontal uh, dispersion or horizontal variance in your shot. We're not gonna be really concerned about that right now. So we're gonna click on trajectory, and if you watched my other video, you can see that I had used this program uh, on the zero to 800 yard iron sight video. I'm gonna try to replicate that here. Um, first, we're gonna need to select our bullet uh, from the bullet library right here and we used a Hornady Which I'll type in Hornady and we can come down here and we have a 223 uh, but actually um, That will be listed as point uh, 224 um, uh, As the diameter which is the same as 5.56 or 223 so we come down here and I have, was using the 75 grain boat tail hollow point match. So I click on that. It will then put that up here into my selection. Because of that, I do not need to know my ballistic coefficient or my bullet weight or the caliber. That This section will be ignored. The next thing I need to know is my muzzle velocity uh, of my bullet, which I know as 2,800 feet per second, so we'll enter that here. The distance to the chronograph that I use, I use the Labrador most of the time, so that's in inches. I have it about six inches. That's important to use. We're going to enter that information. The sight height is also important to calculate, so we're going to get into the sight height, which is about 2.8 seven inches on an AR-15. That is how high your sights are above your bore. We don't need to be concerned about any of this other sight. Sight offset, zero height, none of that stuff. Line of sight, cant angle. We're shooting all this on a flat ground. We're not canning our rifle. The wind speed we'll just leave as uh, 10 miles an hour here at a 90 degree angle. Uh, you'll need to look up how they calculate the angles if you're actually going to calculate uh, your windage hold with this program. They use a little bit different system, so click on the uh, um, question mark here and that'll explain that to you. Target speed, target angle, target height, we don't need to worry about. Our minimum range, if you remember from the video, if you watched my video, uh, we're going to enter in the 566 yards. The minimum range, the actual range was actually... 567. The range increment then we're going to be one because we're only one yard away. The zero range on that rifle was 50 yards. Uh, the temperature that day that I entered I believe was 70 or 75 so let's enter 
uh, let's enter 70, um, your pressure, this becomes important. So the pressure here is corrected, that box is checked. We do not want to have our pressure corrected. What we want to do is we want to have our pressure that is at our firing location. Now where I shoot, that pressure varies from between 28.8 and 29.2. I just know that. So you can, I'm going to enter the pressure as 2807, I think it was that day, or 2907. Um, when we do that, you can enter your, your humidity. It's really not much of a factor at all, but most people just put 50% and leave it at that because um, it really does not affect much. Our altitude does not need to be entered because we've entered the correct pressure for our firing position. So then we go down to the vital zones. Uh, the column one is in inches, column two is in MOA. And I think we have everything good. And then you hit uh, and MOA right here. If you want to use mills, you can use mills and centimeters, uh, but we are going to use MOA. Then I hit calculate. And you can see that the form that is pulled up, I believe I had 11.5 that day, but you can see at 567 yards, it calculated uh, 11.4 MOA. Now with our AR-15 with the iron sights, um, we would set our rear drum at 11 or at 8.3 and we would count out either 11 or 12 clicks because each click of our elevation drum is one MOA to get the distance that we, uh, the computer says we need to shoot. So what I would do is count out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And now we've entered our uh, ballistic solution into our rear drum. All right, if we are using our tactical scope, this one is in MOA. We simply take the uh, firing solution of 11.4 and enter it into our turrets. Now you can't enter 11.4 uh, into an MOA turret because it goes by quarters. So it goes 25, 50, 75, 100. So we have one MOA, two MOA, three, and we'll dial all the way up to uh, 10. We'll go to 11, and then we'll do two clicks to get us to 11.5 MOA, and that is our firing solution and how we enter it into our tactical scope uh, from the computer ballistics program. If you have any questions about calculating your elevation for your AR-15 through this ballistics program, leave a comment below. I try to re, uh, respond to all the comments that I receive. Uh, it really wasn't my intention to get into the windage portion of it, so you'll just have to play around with that. It's beyond really the scope of, of this video. I hope you found this helpful, and have a good day at the range.